Do you have some old speakers kicking around and want to make them wireless? Well, I'm here to tell you about this Irillic S10 and how you can make that happen. Hey everyone, my name's Monty and welcome to Inside Wire. This is a wireless preamp for your speakers to make them wireless and you can stream from any device that you like. Let's jump straight into the unboxing and see what comes in it. We have the user manual, which is the start. We have a remote, so if you wish to control the device, you have a remote that can do this for you. We have a 3.5 mil to phono lead, so you can use those. A 3.5 mil to 3.5 mil. A USB to power the device. And also a plug which comes with, and you can use this to use the USB to power the device. Finally, we have the actual device itself. Just to show you how small this device is, this is the palm of my hand and it fits all in there. So it's a very small and compact device. Let's quickly take a look at what it looks like. So we have some uh, rubber feet at the bottom to stop it sliding anywhere. So when it's on the desk, we have a sleep button, a LAN cable. Now you don't generally see these on a device like this. These are normally Wi-Fi enabled. So it's good to see the LAN cable on here because it makes that streaming a little bit easier. Uh, you have a USB, aux in, aux out, and a five volt, which is the USB to charge the device. On the front, we have an IR sensor, so for the remote, so you can go ahead and use that. And each of these will be highlighted depending on which one you are using. Now, just to take you over some of the main features, you're able to stream music without any distance limit using the ethernet, or you can use Bluetooth 5.0. You can use Spotify Connect, AirPlay, QPlay, DLNA. And also this has the room for multi-room and multi-zone streaming services as well. Now, unfortunately, I don't have multiple of these to be able to show you the multi-room or multi-zone streaming, but the more of these you have, with the products from Arillic, you're able to do this with them. And just to show you on here, if you are interested in some of the technical specs, they are just here. So a couple of things to note is it does only do 2.4 gigahertz, so 802.11n. Uh, it has 100 meg ethernet, so it's not gig, and Bluetooth 5.0. So to get this powered on, we do need to make sure it's plugged in. And once you plug it in, we should see a light that comes up on the front of this. So we know that's now powered up. What we're then going to do is we need to download the, re the app. So there's an app called Forstream. You need to click on that and download that from the Play Store. And then it's going to go ahead and search for the devices locally. And there we go just there. It's gone ahead and it's found the sound system. So we can go ahead and click on that and set up this device. And then we need to join it to the Wi-Fi. And there we go. So that's now connected to the Wi-Fi. We go ahead and click Next. And we give it a recommended name. So I'm just going to leave it as the default for now. We go ahead and click Next. And there we go. So currently it's using line in. So that's what it's using at the moment. Um, but we can go ahead and play around with the app and change whatever we need to do. So as I mentioned, we have the line in and you can probably see that color just on there. We have the line in. So when we press it to network, you can see that changes. There's no music selected. And then we can change to Bluetooth and it will try and connect via Bluetooth. And it will only flick to USB once you have a USB plugged in. So these are all the options you have for streaming services on here. So Amazon Music, BBC Radio, Deezer, Internet Radio. I'm not going to go through all of them, but Spotify's on here. Tune in, iHeartRadio. There's a bunch on here. And just down here also as well, you can select the different play modes if you wish to use something else. So just to give you a quick demo of how this is going to work, I've just gone three and a half mil to three and a half mil and plugged it straight into the speaker here. So we can go ahead and test this. So let's start in the four stream app. You can see we have some options here so we can go to browse. You can choose one of these and it will open the app specifically. So we'll, let's open Spotify. Um, I've just got some white noise that I'm playing here. So we'll go ahead and play that. And if I click on the speakers just at the bottom here, you can see AirPlay Bluetooth, and we can pick this sound system just here. And there we go, hopefully you can hear that just there. So that's within there. If we go ahead to YouTube now, and there we go right there. So that's now working through YouTube. So AirPlay, it works perfectly fine, which is great for me. So you can actually use this to connect up any other speakers that you need. Also, if you have an old amp kicking around and you want to be able to plug into that, you have again the phono connection, so you can plug straight into that as well. In terms of the price of this, this comes in at $79. You can pick this up on Amazon and I'll drop the link down in the description below. Overall, for this price and this product, it's great. It does the job. It's nothing too fancy. If you're into high-end music sound, this isn't going to be for you because it's something basic just to give you the wireless capabilities on it. Let me know your thoughts down in the description below and what you think about this. For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.